the Roland Merrick handicap chases next. And this is a 0 to 110. And another small film for this one, just three, and there's only two of us in it. It's Richard Boreas for Martin Liedem and Ozark Daisy and Orlando Princess for Vinnie Gerard. So, three runners, two trainers, and away we go. Fortunately for me, Vinnie Gerard's two horses are different colours, so I'm not going to get them mixed up. And Richard Boreas is the early leader pulling for his head. He's already been the recipient of a couple of two runner race wins. This season or a three runner race win and a two runner race win. So they get over the first. Can he do it again? Or will Vinnie Gerard spoil the party? So it's Rich Richo Borias then, who leads by two. Get into this ditch. And none of them jumped that particularly well. And this is the point that I was making in the forum the other day. It's all well and good saying that we've only got three runner races. It means that people get more wins and stuff. But can you imagine being the Handicap are trying to work out these three as they get to this next one because, to be honest, that none of, without being rude to Vinny's horses, none of, none of the three look as though they're world beaters the way they're going at the moment. And when it comes to handicapping it, what does he do? Poor old Alex Cherry, because the, the winner's got to be penalised in some way, hasn't he? Um, and then what do you do with the horses that are second and third? Do you put them down? Do they go up? I mean, what do you do? And then next week in the 15 runner field, these three have probably got no chance because they've been weighted on the fact that they've won and come second rather than the fact that they're not very good. Anyway, Richard Boreas is the leader from Ozark Days in Orlando Princess. They're not in a 0 to 110 for nothing, is the point. And they're in a 0 to 110 because they're not that good. And Richard Boreas has already won twice um, without being very good. So, anyway, that's why we need more horses. And if for well, people that are here already, we can pull some extra ones in. I think it's a good idea. It's fair for everybody because everybody can do it. Although Leon has now decided that the top four are not going to do it. Um, which they're all happy with as they get over the next. But it's certainly not a case of the people at the top trying to get extra chances to win. It's just to try and make these races a little bit more interesting. Um, and make everyone's life a little bit easier because I'm sitting here doing this and thinking, looking at the clock and thinking I've only got an hour before I want to be doing something else and I've still got a load of races to do and I've only got two or three runners in, although they don't take any longer they're not anywhere near as much fun and there's not really a lot I can say half the time anyway, Richard Boreas is in the lead the other alternative of course is we just don't bother commentating on these small runner fields, but that then isn't really very fair on people that might not get many winners and want their horse commentated on. So I think the point is we've got to be finding ways to attract new people. We can't just sit around waiting for them to come by themselves because they're not going to. You know, that's pretty clear. I was looking at a, some races from a few seasons ago the other day, and I wanted to watch the races back on. YouTube on the big TV at night because I see the ones I haven't commentated on as they get over that next one and it automatically went on to another video after that night had finished it was from I think the last season of SO6 or maybe even before that and we got massive fields we got fields of 25 we got trains all, all over the place and even the 0 to 100 hunters had got 15 runners in them so we've got to find a way of getting back to that by attracting the people back and attracting some new ones. So we've got to do some promotional stuff. And there's no good everybody just watching all season and then running away when the season's over and not talking to each other again until the season starts. We've got to come up with a plan to make this thing more accessible, put it out as some sort of package so that people who are not in it can see it and think, well, that looks like a bit of fun, I'll have a go at that. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying this, because there's only me and Vinny listening. Uh, maybe Vinny will back me up and put something in the forum. Who knows? Anyway, Richard Boreas is in the lead. I managed to get over 14 fences without me really describing the race at all. But, uh, I think what's a lot happen at the moment as they go to this next one is that Richard Boreas will be picked off by whichever one of the two Vinny Gerard horses is the quickest, because we know that he's got a lot of speed in his bloodlines. We know that mine haven't, so they get over the next. It's the heavy going that does mine good, as we've been seeing in Alaska. Anyway, they get to the 17th, and Richard Boris is indeed now coming back to the Vinnie Gerard pair. Oh, 
ready to pounce. They're not both. Shoot past him as they get to this ditch. And they're all still standing, which is a bonus. I bet you Boreas being pushed along. Oh, Morlando Princess in second, Ozark Daisy in third. We might get an exciting finish. Richo Boreas doing his best to repel the pair from the speedy yard. Right, so Richo Boreas in the lead still. Orlando Princess second and Ozark Daisy back in third. Looks like Orlando Princess might be the one who's going to come and challenge for the lead as they get to the 19th. And they're all over that one okay and Ozark Daisy is beginning to struggle a little bit so it looks like it's Richo Boreas and Orlando Princess we're going to fight this out over this final ditch and Richo Boreas jumped that really nicely and it's gone two lengths clear. I suppose now is the time to state that this Richo Boreas is a half oh, brother last year's Grand National winner but it's Richo Boreas in the lead to Orlando Princess second and Ozark Daisy well back in third this is the final fence and Richo Boreas jumps and stays all day and it looks like that might be enough as they race now up towards the line and despite my fears that really speedsters were going to get me Richo Boreas takes it and Orlando Princess is second and Ozark Daisy is third